Sykes to red. Yeah. And call the meeting to order. Those that care to please stand for an opening prayer and pledge of allegiance. Mr. Cameron? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day and uh, thank you for all that you do for this city. We just pray, God, for your guidance and direction in everything that we do and say tonight and just for the future of 2022. Pray for our state and federal leaders as well, Lord, as we as they start a new session. Just guide and direct them as well. And do all we do tonight in your name and in your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Grandma will get situated. <laughs> we'll wait on you. We're good. You all set? I'm okay. Perfect. Good evening. Welcome back. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We're now into 2022, and it feels like, well, we just never really stopped. So <laughs> thank you so much for being here tonight. I will open it up for citizen participation. Anyone wishing to speak to anything not on the agenda, Please approach the podium and state your name and your address. You will be given three minutes. And thanks to our friend Chris Crosby, I don't have to time on my iPhone anymore. <laughs> I don't know if it's on the agenda or not, but my name is Carrie Sanders. My address is 6695 West Farm Road 186. And I had so much fun last time, I thought I'd come back and see Welcome you. back, Carrie. Michael couldn't be here the, this evening. He said to send his regrets that he couldn't join in on the fun. So... And I kind of have felt like the car got in front of the horse as far as those of us who live in the country. I'm addressing the trail. Um, so as I've tried to catch up with information, maps, various things, I have found the interactive map, which was probably told to us um, at the meet and greet meeting, but I didn't catch it. And I'm not very commuted computer savvy so I noticed when I was looking at it that there are a great deal more homes through that are in the city limits that I ever realized would be affected now some of them it looks like their line property line would not be included and so therefore there would be no acquisition of their land and some it does look like there would be a considerable amount probably not as much as acreage frontage along 182 out in the country. So as I scrolled down, I saw the opportunity to view the survey that was talked about um, when we were at the meet and greet. And we were assured that an overwhelming majority of those surveyed who responded were interested in pursuing this bike trail, walking trail, recreational trail, whatever word you want to give it. And as I read the statistics, I didn't see where it was ever singled out as being that particular trail. Hmm. There was some percentage interested in parks and recreation, and I got kind of tickled at why people live here and what they think most about Republic and the small town feel, and I thought, wow, you blink twice and it's not gonna feel like small town anymore. Um, and that's just progress. So what I'm wanting to know, and I don't know if I can get an answer, if I have to get an email, a phone call, whatever, is it possible, because we have contacted Bob Dixon and Rusty, and is there any way to meet outside of this setting and get answers for the many questions that not only I have, but as I've called other people on 182 with the possibility of moving it to the north side um, where that dangerous intersection was, then, um, okay. You timed that perfectly though. Because, uh, well, I'm well, really not done. Okay. <laughs> I, will, I will be done. I just, you're shaking your heads like we could meet. Absolutely. Have another. Yeah. 
and who decides that and how do we get that going? Great question. So we, Mr. Nelson. He's becoming our best friend. Uh, I know, I'm he, just kidding. And he yours. He may, he may have seen me come in and go, oh, no. No, not a chance. Not a chance. Andrew Nelson uh, builds administrator. So typically, um, the way these projects go down, we have a, an initial public meeting like we did um, a few weeks ago uh, that everybody attended. And then we take comments uh, from that meeting and we make changes. Um, a lot of times, a lot of projects have a lot of changes. This one in particular will have some changes. I can't speak definitively to say which side of the road that a particular property or that the trail is going to be on yet, but we're working on that. I think probably within a week or two, we would have a, a second edition of what we showed the first time that is different. So moving the crossing further down. So we'll plug for that. <laughs> Please state your name and your address. Sir. Bobby Demery, uh, 101 uh, North Madison Avenue here in Republic. So. Um, I had two questions for the group, uh, and some of them may have answered is, one, is there going to be any further action on this? So mm -hmm. I think that that question has been answered. Um, second question, in terms of the, uh, the action or the questions that we have asked, because we collectively, we ask a lot of, a lot of uh, questions, and I, I think putting the cart before the horse uh, aptly puts it. Mm. Um, it seems like the decision was made before the people were involved. Uh, I know there's been a lot of emails uh, that have been sent uh, to you, Mr. Franklin. Uh, I noticed that that trail mostly runs through your ward, if I read the maps correctly. So I don't know if you've had a chance to uh, respond to those yet, but uh, I think it would be appropriate for, especially for a council member to <coughs> canvas the neighborhood and ask the what the what those residents feel like so um, in terms of further action uh, other than just a standing agenda item where we have three minutes to come every other week because you know we know you have other business and we have other things to do of course uh, lacrosse primarily <laughs> um, so uh, you know at what point do we move from citizens participation to actually moving forward into an action that's a great question so so that I'm very, very clear. The citizen participation is not supposed to be a back and forth, but obviously I break the rules all the time and talk to you guys. It's going to come back to bite me <laughs> when it's a really big crowd and we're going to be here until midnight. But here's the thing. Uh, this was a really new problem that was brought to my attention, and I asked everybody to give me a little bit of time, get up and running with the new city attorney, which we are doing. Mr. Nelson's educating me on what's going on, what's happening. And it sounds like the next step is to sit down and have a conversation as a group. And we can ha have that happen. I don't know. What kind of time frame are you thinking, Mr. Nelson? Um, by the end of the month. Okay, great. So I, I think it's very important, and excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt you. You're not. Um, I think it's very important that so the, the council, who has our best interests at, at heart, know you do. They have no question about that. The city planners and the people that actually do the work and the people that are going to directly be impacted, uh, whether it's financially, whether it's land values, whether it's uh, people in their personal space, whatever mm -hmm. that case may be, all of those people have to be included in, in that conversation more than just two minutes and 45 seconds. I understand, and I don't disagree with you, and I'm looking forward to sitting down with you okay. and having a longer conversation. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Here Good. we are again. Yes, ma'am. All right. Would you my, name, my name is Lisa Roller. I live at 6618 West Farm Road 182 in Republic. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm here tonight to discuss the city limits. It seems like it is just to put a feather in your cap. When you say the people want this, we know of many people, both insides and outside city limits, many whom to lose much of their you know, life and property, however, absolutely do not want this trail. The trail seems like the way to get the foot in the door for a larger plan. Recently, I was made privy to the fact that you have plans to annex Farm Road 182 into the City of Republic after your trail goes in, which is, again, <coughs> which is against everything we stand for. City Council members, it sounds like if we give you this inch, then you'll intend to take a mile. We live 
out in the country for a reason. Where would that leave all of our hunting rights, our private wells, our septic systems, our propane use, etc.? The bike trail and the road widening that will surely follow your annexation would be the beginning of the destruction of our whole way of life. I do like the way that you begin your meetings with pledge and, and the allegiance, the pledge of allegiance and prayer. It shows that you still have a belief in one nation under God. But after that's over for the council, it's business as usual with no regard to anyone's cares or concerns. In closing, I want all of you who are involved in this trail process and the vote to take away people's private property to ask yourselves one question. Would Jesus turn over the tables and call you sons and daughters of iniquity? Thank you for your time. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else wishing to speak to something not on the agenda? All right, seeing none, I'm gonna close citizen participation, move on to the consent agenda. I welcome the uh, council to ask any questions or have any comments about items number one through three on the agenda. Any questions, any comments? Seeing none, I need a motion and a second for the approval of the consent agenda. Motion. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? <coughs> motion carries seven to zero. Moving on to the board's commissions and committee schedule. We have a board of adjustments meeting on January 6, 2022. A planning and zoning meeting on January 10th, 2022. City council meeting on January 18th, 2022. And a city council meeting on February 1st, 2022. Hi guys. <laughs> Going on to old business and tabled items. Item number four on the agenda. I need a motion and a second for the second reading of Bill 21-78 by title only. Motion. Second. We've got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries seven to zero. Madam Clerk. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, amending the zoning code and official map by changing the classification of approximately 14.04 acres from Plan Development District, PDD, to General Commercial, C2, located at the 600 block of West Civic Boulevard. Thank you, ma'am. Staff presented on this issue last time. Are there any updates or concerns from staff? Any questions or discussion from council? Seeing none, I would entertain a motion and a second for the final passage of Bill 21-78. Motion. Second. We've got a motion and a second. We will now take a roll call vote on our computers. Please click refresh, cast your vote, hit submit. Motion carries seven to zero. Moving on to item number five on our agenda. I need a motion and a second for the second reading of Bill 21-79 by title only, please. Motion. Second. second. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Any abstentions? Motion carries seven to zero. Madam Clerk. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, approving amending the zoning code and official map by changing the classification of approximately 0 0.46 acres from medium density single family R1M to heavy manufacturing M2, located at the 1200 block of South State Highway MM. Thank you, ma'am. Any updates or concerns from staff? Any questions or discussion from council? Seeing none, I would entertain a motion and a second for the final passage of Bill 21-79. Motion. Second. second. We've got a motion and a second. We will now take a roll call vote on our computers. Please click refresh, <coughs> cast your vote, hit submit. Ordinance passes seven to zero. 
Moving on to item number six on our agenda, I need a motion and a second for the second reading of Bill 21-80 by title only, please. Motion. Second. We've got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries, seven to zero. Madam Clerk. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, approving amending the zoning code and official map by changing the classification of approximately 0 0.69 acres from medium density single family R1M to heavy manufacturing M2 located at 1249 South State Highway MM. Thank you, ma'am. Any updates from, or from staff? <coughs> Any questions or comments from council? Seeing none, I need a motion and a second for the final passage of Bill 21-80. Motion. Second. Get a motion and a second. We will now take a roll call vote on the computers. Ordinance passes seven to zero. Moving on to item number seven on our agenda. I need a motion and a second for the second reading of Bill 21-81 by title only, please. Motion. Second. We've got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries seven to zero. Madam Clerk. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, approving amending the zoning code and official map by changing classification of approximately 1.22 acres from medium density single family R1M to heavy manufacturing M2 located at 1235 South State Highway MM. Thank you, ma'am. Chris, if I asked you if there were any updates, still nothing. <laughs> nothing? All right. You want to make something up? No. All right. Any comments from council? Seeing none, I would entertain a motion and a second for the final passage of Bill 21 81. Motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. We will now do a roll call vote on your computers. All right, motion carries seven to zero. Moving on to no new business, I'm going to open up a public hearing. Uh, the public hearing will be on the approving the annexation of approximately 17.52 acres located at the 6400 block of South Farm Road 89 and adjacent right away. This public hearing will be conducted in two different ways. First, if you want to speak for it, you can approach the podium. Then if you want to speak against it, you will be able to approach the podium and speak each time you will be given three minutes. Is there anyone wishing to speak in favor of it? Mr. Wynn, it's good to see you again. Convince right. us. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take a whole lot. Um, my name is Chris Wynn. I'm a civil engineer with CJW Transportation Consultants located at 5051 South National Avenue in Springfield, Missouri. Um, I'm here today to request the annexation of approximately 17 and a half acres along Farm Road 89, um, just south of existing Republic. Um, this will be ex um, essentially phase four of the old Savannah subdivision. Um, phase one and two have been completed, final plats approved, and you've got, probably seen a lot of houses uh, pop up out there. Um, phase three is under construction. We hope to have uh, phase three A final plat in front of you guys here in the next month or, or two. Um, this 17 acres is just located uh, south of Farm Road uh, or Williamsburg or um, Farm Road 89. Um, it's essentially a the reason we're annexing it in is so that we can uh, put in approximately 100 more um, residential lots. Uh, we've done a traffic study for this um, by the request of the city staff. Um, we've looked at, uh, you know, the soils. We'll have stormwater detention. Um, we'll meet all of the uh, engineering code and uh, requirements from the city. So really just looking to uh, continue on with Old Savannah um, subdivision. Excellent. If you guys got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Seeing no questions from council, thank you for your time this evening. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Anyone wishing to speak against? Seeing none, I'm going to close the public hearing, move on to item number nine on our agenda. I need a motion and a second for the first reading of Bill 22 <coughs> 01 by title only. Motion. Second. A motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries 7 to 0. Madam Clerk. 
An ordinance of the City Council approving the annexation of approximately 17.52 acres located at the 6400 block of South Farm Road 89 and adjacent right of way. I really like how we don't mess each other up anymore on <laughs> those public hearings because we had a rough time in the beginning, didn't we? I think it's sounds smooth now. Yeah, yeah. And by we, I mean me, but you're, you're in this with me, so it's we. So anyway, hi. Thank you. Uh, Karen Haynes, Assistant Builds Administrator. Um, as you had heard, the property owner, Old Savannah LLC, has submitted the voluntary annexation request for the subject parcel. City of Republic Sanitary Water and Sewer Services are available adjacent to the property. The subject property is compact and contiguous within uh, the city limits of Republic as the subject parcel is surrounded by city property to the east and to the north. The annexation of approved by council will effectively zone the parcel agricultural um, or AG as the property is currently uh, has the agricultural designation in Greene County. Um, staff has reviewed the annexation request and we are requesting approval. Thank you. Do we have questions from council? Seeing none, please remember this is a first read. So if you have anything that you want to ask questions about, get with staff before the next meeting. Moving on to item number 10 on our agenda. I need a motion and a second for the first reading of Bill 22-02. Sorry. Motion. Second. We got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries seven to zero. Madam Clerk, and I'm really looking forward to you pronouncing this word. Oh, I've done it before. Really? Yes. All right, it's hard for me. I can't <laughs> yeah, say Yeah, you're going to curse me. Yeah. An ordinance of the City Council authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental agreement between the City of Republic, Missouri, and the City of Springfield, Missouri, for the acquisition of pictometry, providing a more accurate geographical information system. Thank you. I was just practicing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Josh. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this agreement is between us, Springfield, Christian County, Greene County, Nixa, Ozark, OTO, and CU. It's a pretty big group there of people who have uh, kind of put money in the pot to try to buy a very expensive service for high resolution airplane captured imagery that we use in our web mapping environment. This is done every two years and um, we've been doing it for about 10 years now. It's uh, like I said, it's a very expensive product, but it's a great deal as part of a group we're only paying $4,652 out of a $305,000 contract because that's about what it equates to as how much space we take up in the whole Greene County and Christian County area. If I didn't say that, it, it is a flight that captures the entire Greene County and Christian County area. And it's a uh, three inch resolution picture on the ground. So anything um, bigger than three inches is gonna be seen on this imagery. So as you can imagine, it's pretty useful to the city when it comes to looking at the updated development and products, uh, or in, whether it's inspection or any kind of subdivision, it's, it's nice to see that in real time to know what we're working with. But uh, it's uh, kind of managed by the city of Springfield, and they do a great job uh, working with uh, Eagle Views, the name of the company, and uh, we appreciate them doing that for us. And uh, we really like the product, so we'd hope that you'll approve uh, another purchase of it. If you have any questions about it, I'd be happy to answer. Did you say that it's every couple of years then the the repave the service or? Oh, well, this is for a, a flying the imagery um, to capture the whole county, and it is done every two years. It is uh, done in the springtime, so if we, this gets approved, they'll fly it again in uh, approximately March or April of 2022. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Mr. Mayor, please. The only, the only statement I make is, Josh, I got to see some of your product today. Andrew shared with our admin team. I cannot wait uh, for the council to see it because uh, – the work that they're doing on the GIS, if you recall, we, we created this position based upon Josh's skill set, but what he was doing, he was doing our IT work and his, his passion is for GIS. And so for those of us that never studied that in college, it was one of those things like, I'm not even sure what it means, but th the flyover is special, but it's every two years. But the work that they're doing now is they're actually able to fly over it now with drones and actually insert it into the map. So they're updating it. So if you look at our maps now, you will actually see Amazon without the flyover, you'll see the new developments that his staff is working on and what he's working on. And it's pretty impressive. And so after I saw it today, I think it's a, I think there is a, a meeting in the future that we'll have that we're gonna showcase a lot of the processes we've improved because we can't wait every two years for that data because we're showcasing it. I think that Josh and the work that Chris and everybody has worked on to bring that, everybody in that, that division, I don't think anybody's doing what we're doing to this level, at least for the size of community we are 
So having that up-to-date data, some of the flyovers we're doing, they're doing it with drones now and inserting it. But I cannot wait. What I saw today was was amazing for what we're doing with the, the development community where they can click on a building permit and see now that their permit, the, the permit's been issued, the inspection's been done, what specific inspection, and it sends an email to the builder. So it used to take, what, two, two days maybe, or communication or three different steps is now done through one click, and it sends an email to the builder. And that, sir, is your vision. Thank you. And that is impressive. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for – it was like – that stuff really happens. So it tells me I'm like that guy still uses a VCR and has to have the clock changed by my kids. So thank you very much. Pretty impressive. Great job. Appreciate it. If you have questions, please get with staff before the next meeting. And I'm really looking forward to that meeting where we see this. Like that's that's going to be cool. All of our, I'll, I'll touch on a little bit more. All right. Excellent. Moving on to other business, specifically resolutions. This is item number 11 on our agenda. This is 22-R-01. A resolution of the City Council approving an agreement for an as-needed land use services for a period of two years. I need a motion and a second to take up resolution 22-R-01. Motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Ma'am. Thank you, Mayor. The City of Republic's Builds Department requests a qualifications for land use legal services to serve on an as-needed um, basis to assist with matters relating specifically to planning and zoning. The city received two responses to the RFQ. Based upon the review of the R RFQ responses, staff believes the Lauber Municipal Law Firm is the most qualified to provide a complete and comprehensive land use legal services to the city. We are requesting approval of a, an agreement to enter into contract with them for a period of up to two years, not to exceed $50,000 a year, to provide, again, those as-needed legal land use services to the City of Republic, and we are requesting approval. Questions from council? Seeing none, and as this is a resolution, we can move immediately to a vote, which I will call. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Resolution carries 7 to 0. Moving on to reports from staff. Mr. Cameron? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and Happy New Year to everyone. <coughs> Hope everyone enjoyed the holiday. 2022 is already shaping up to be extremely busy. I've seen the agenda for the next um, two months at least from a development perspective of what it could be and what it will be. So I would just tell you that it's there's there's a lot more coming coming your way. Um, to Again, to Josh and the team, we're, we are trying to coordinate a kind of a work session. After what I saw today, I think it's time for us to kind of stop and pause and show you when we talk about in our mission statement processes, relationships, and trust, the process side of what we're doing. I think it was stated in our admin team meeting today, people would rather see a thousand things done correctly than just one big project. And so I think that when people ask us what we're doing in the community and how it's working and why growth and development's taking place, it's the thousand things, little things that are done that are on an exponential scale. And I'm talking from the HR side to the purchasing side, to the GIS side, to what Parks is doing for programming and how those things move through our community quickly through just this one click that you can send an email to a builder to say, hey, your permits, your inspection's done. There's just a lot of things we need to showcase because I think a lot of times it gets overlooked, even by myself, like they just do it. It just happens and it's working. And there's a reason why it's working and people are saying, wow, it's so easy to do development. But I want to showcase what the staff have done and why we're seeing the trend and the movement that we are is through the work and the effort that's done every day that it's really behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to showcase that and I look forward, and then also to talk a little bit about the vision and the direction of the city even more to kind of drive down to where we're going to be going in 2022. So I, I anticipate we are working in a legislative session now where Andrew and I are very active and are going to be active in that. Um, so we will try to coordinate in February, January, February at time, probably not to keep it more than four hours, but we'll, we, we want to be respectful of your time, but look forward to having that. Garrett Brickner, you were not here at the last meeting when I made this statement, so that you're here, I do not want this to get lost. I want to again want to congratulate you on uh, completing your PE and passing that test. It's a he watched it 20 times on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm sure my mom will text you and say, "Hey, congratulations, Garrett." But uh, I'm very proud of you. It's it's been fun to watch your progression and just. Listening to the people taking that test and listening to Andrew, who, who works in that in his, his own home and what it takes for people to test and prepare for it. Not only have you done that, but you've also been a great leader for us in the organization through our progression and dealing with the growth and development of the city while trying to work through that. And we put a lot of work on your plate 
We've added a lot of responsibility to your plate. I think you've handled it well, but I could not be more prouder for you and the work that you've done just to accomplish that goal because you'll have that. that. No one can take that away from you, and that comes through hard work and dedication. No one handed it to you. You earned it, and I just respect that and appreciate the work that you do. So I just – while you're here, I'm going to say it to you publicly, and I'm going to hear it to you twice, so if you want to watch it all the time you want, replay it in the morning, feel inspired by it, it'd be great. Right, so I want a quick update. So we did complete the land acquisition uh, for some property on MM, which is north of the fuel farms. Uh, as you recall, that is the route that we're looking at to reroute MM Highway at the Amazon intersection of Farm Road 160, so on the south side of Amazon, the plan is that will be potentially a roundabout at that, that intersection. The future <laughs> MM will continue, but the railroad crossing uh, will be eliminated, and a new route will go around the fuel tanks potentially, But so we've secured that site. But we were able to secure that site. Andrew, great job on um, negotiating the sale with an opportunity that gave a right of first refusal back to the, to the owner. Should that not be a highway, they would be able to buy, purchase the property back from the city because we're not there to – make money on it we're there to secure it so that it, we don't have to go out and sit and deal with situations with the unfortunate position of taking land or buying right away back so uh just want to make sure that you understand that that was a very forward-thinking effort on the staff and this council's behalf to make that happen so that that future route that future highway will go through out to farm road 103 so looking forward to that uh, the s p call again is the next week looking forward to getting that behind us we have some more meetings this week uh, but that's for the $45 million loan to address the wastewater deficiencies, which is the first step of about $150 million. So it's, a, it's quite an endeavor, but we're, get, we're looking forward to getting that call behind us and getting the project underway, uh, as well as the public works building. Uh, we, Andrew and I are going to be, like, as I mentioned, our calendar in January and February. Um, we are working actively on finding funding mechanisms or funding methods Myself, the mayor, Andrew, will be traveling uh, at different times, working on ways to find this. And so we kind of got a schedule. So most likely in the February meeting, Jared may be sitting in this seat while we're in Jeff City for some, some of the meetings. We are looking at potentially doing a February 15th and February 22nd meeting and canceling the March 1st meeting so that we don't have three meetings back to back, but we can still conduct business. So there may be some adjustments, but all that is an effort to I assure you to try to minimize the impact to our community of what the cost of the sewer will be moving forward. Census data. So uh, the census data was completed, which means we will redistrict uh, in the community the, the ward maps. Initially, I wanted to have that done in February, but after what I just explained to you, considering that we do not have to have it done until the next, really technically the next municipal election, I have set a goal to have that done to you, have it in front of you by the May 1st meeting. So to give us a little bit of room to work on the funding and not push it, make sure we get it done. So I've asked Megan, uh, and welcome Megan. I, I have Thank that. You. Welcome to, uh, she's a great addition to our team. We have her in the admin team meeting today working on this, talking about it. We are gonna work on the redistricting with Laura, Chris, we're gonna ask for your help with the mapping of it. But we hope to bring that to you in May. Uh, Megan's gonna be looking at what does it mean if it splits somebody's ward or if it goes right down the middle of your property uh, some point we'll try to, to avoid it but we have to do it based upon the data so we'll bring that in May to you um, sales tax receipts I am happy to report that at January 1 the sales tax receipts do reflect at least the ones that I've seen uh, I've got everybody looking to see are the nine is, is it being collected at the locations we're going to so I'm happy to report that it is our anticipation is that we'll receive those in possibly maybe by March but we should see them in for sure in April. And at that stage, we will uh, meet the obligation and the promise we made to the community and to the voters and to this council and to the staff to comply with what we, we stated the funds were going to be for. Uh, I've already told you that. Happy New Year. It's going to be a busy 2022. Um, I think that we issued 251 permits, which was a record for us uh, on housing last year. And probably it's going to be 2022, probably 2023. You'll probably see that double. And so um, we got a lot of things that we're planning for, the MMM widening, the Lynn and Heinz roundabout, um, doing some improvements out at Heinz and ZZ. So it's not just taking care of the future growth, it's taking care of some of the situations on the transportation system in the community as it is. But um, again, it's a pleasure to lead this city, uh, to be a part of it, 
Mr. Mayor, I thought you did a fantastic job today uh, with your presentation at the chamber, giving the overview of the city and sharing that with the business community. Jared, I look forward to your work on the, the upcoming uh, measures to deal with the, uh, the parks and looking forward to seeing your vision and your plan for that. But um, also the last part, I want to thank the council, those that were able, I know people are very busy, but to council member Dykeman, Wilson and Franklin on a couple, two weeks ago, before Christmas, we did the trust edge. Um, which the trust edge is a, is a book that we've been working with with staff we've been working on it since 2016 working with the author that wrote it i just want to thank you for your participation and being a part of that again i appreciate everyone's involvement because i know it takes time it was a full day but i just thank all the staff that participated through those through those efforts of having clarity direction and where we're going is very important i look forward to sharing that with this council as we move forward it's going to be a very productive 2022 and with that i will close thank you sir thank you Reports from Council. Mr. Franklin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you for that, David, as well. I, I really appreciate that opportunity to attend that Trust Edge training and, and get that firsthand, you know, that to see how you're implementing it, uh, both to get stuff for myself, looking at the city and everywhere else. That's a lot of great stuff in that training. So I really appreciate you bringing that to the City of Republic. I uh, appreciate having that opportunity to sit with staff and, and work alongside everyone that day. Uh, welcome, Megan and congratulations Garrett but uh, that's all I had thank you thanks sir anyone else seeing nothing else um, reports from me I, I, I don't um, citizen participations at the beginning sir so citizen participations at the beginning I'm sorry I took the yeah, we, we don't hide on purpose but it seems like sometimes it looks like that Okay. Well, uh, We'll talk to you after the meeting, though. Um, I did get to speak at the Chamber of Commerce today, and I had a great time doing it. It was a, a really good group of people. I had a good time presenting what our successes were in 2021 and what our, our challenges will be in 2022. Uh, in my legal world, we, we have accidents and crashes. Those are the two sides of the same thing. David likes to put it as challenges, and I'm trying to adopt his language. I, I call them worries, but I, I like challenges and the, the connotation that leads. And we do have some challenges in 2022. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried, but that's, that's okay. That keeps us on our toes. But I could not pick a better group of people to go into battle with for these challenges. Could not pick a better group. I'm proud to be a part of it. So with that, media adjourned.